This is Twit. Let's talk about 3D scanning. You brought some um, software. The last time we did this on MacBreak Weekly, you used a iPhone app. And you use the iPhone yep. X's <clears throat> depth sensor to scan my face. And it wasn't. It was in beta back then, and now it is in. Uh, it is in. Uh, it's out. It's you out. Can get it? You can get it. It's called Bellus 3D. B e l u s. Uh, yep. I'm and, getting uh, it right now. And what you can do here, I'll. I'll uh, you can see. Yeah, those are the mo some of the models generated from it. So, if I get my uh, in the right position, so to you're see gonna. There? You're gonna. Yeah, it's modeling your face. So what I do is I get my face kind of into that space here, and I click on it, and it's going to tell me to look. I just go. Okay, that's not it. That's just a, just to describe how to do it. Could, it now is this? It's not on the App Store. It should be. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe it's only showing up for me because I'm still in the beta. <laughs> I Might thought be. I thought it, I went to the App Store and it was there. Okay. Before I had to use the you know the side but loader. But the plan is so to this make is this a, available. <clears throat> this all white is a is a bug in I think twelve. But you did get but, it captured. Now what you do is you do that and then you e you email it to yourself and you're using yeah. a different. Is this a Bellows program? No, this is Cinema 4D. So That's I'm just a using standard Cinema, 3D rendering. Standard, so I just literally just open this Holy up in cow. Cinema 4D. So that is, uh, you know, that is the. Uh, that's the rendered version. Yeah, that's the rendered version. You can see if I jump out of it, but if I, oops, I accidentally copied it there. Um, but you can see I can move it around. There's like a shell. I'm a shell of myself. Um, but that is a very accurate 3D model. Could you uh, get the done, back of your head too? I mean, yeah, this app is is kind of a, a start if you wanted to have a front avatar. Um, you can. There's definitely other ways to get the back of your head, but not with this app yet. So um, let me see what the on the flattened. Oh, the flattened texture map? Yeah, so yeah. what it does is it generates a texture that is your... Uh, the texture is kind of a... Oops. <laughs> so if you, wanted to put, if you wanted to put me on a mug, this is... The, oh, you could just wrap mug, it right around my mug cylinder. on a mug. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, you could, uh, you could simply print that out, which is kind of funny. You know, so. I wonder if you could use this to full face ID, because that's... I don't pretty think realistic. So. No? I, think, I think you'd have trouble because Face ID is looking for warmth. It's, it's and, do, and it's also doing depth. Yeah. There's, this is 2D. It's flat. Right. Yeah. I think yeah. it would have. You might be able to print something that then that then you figure it out some way to get the right. I mean, it, it, you'd it, have to 3D possible. print something. Yeah. But I think that a lot of times, again, this is the kind of thing that, especially things that are an app grabbing avatars, are going to be really fun. If you think about the me emoji, what a, this is a step away from being able to scan yourself and have yourself right. actually truly a me emoji. You know, and so um, now it looks like they also sell a camera. There's an, that's for the Android. Okay. So because Android and Windows doesn't. They don't have the depth sensor, so you can do it on the iPhone, much cheaper. It's on the Android. It's like five hundred bucks, five hundred dollar, and that's basically a Connect. I mean, that's essentially doing what a Connect does right. um, there. So now you, they do say it's now out. Bellows yeah. 3D one word. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, Face app. Okay, good. I'm gonna get this. You can download it for free and play with it. You just can't export the model. Uh, without paying something like eight dollars a month or twenty four dollars a year or something like that, but you can, uh, but this is but you can business. download it and play with it. You should you should download it and play with it. If you have oh, an I iPhone ten, this you, is awesome. It uh, does require the sensing in iPhone ten, or you'd have to buy some hardware. Yeah, yep. So uh, again, this is something that I think that it's worth playing with now, and there's lots of fun things that you could do with it. Um, you can print. Uh, one thing I haven't gotten around to is printing a mask. You know, once I have that data. Um, I can, you know, my, my thought is you could cut it out and print and not a me, I'd probably do it. Now, do I turn my head? What do yeah, I do? It, you hit start. There you go. And then it'll give you a guide. Oh, there you go. Now it'll just say, look up, look up at your camera and then turn slowly as far as you can, as far as your neck will stretch. Oh. There you go. Well, you shouldn't make faces though. So now I'm going to be sneering out of the left hand side of my <laughs> face. And we'll see if so we'll see if I you, get the you, white one. Are you beta as well? No. Oh. No, but see, no, they're having this something. problem. There's some kind of there's got, some kind of rendering it issue. It, it actually captures it. Um, there's a rendering issue that I did after I did the update, so I don't know what. Yeah. I'm not sure what what what's causing that at the moment. Huh. But um. Okay. Anyway, but it's a uh, it's, it, it is capturing the texture map. That's really cool. It's a recent recent little issue that we we started having there. So, yeah. but um, but you can you'll get this texture map out. You can you could. Hook it up to your 3D printer, print your head, you know, if you wanted to, if you really felt like you needed that. Um, so anyway, so that's, a, that's, that's getting the, the, the face. Um, the, <laughs> the, the next step, of course, is how do you get the whole body? So, and the reason you might want the whole body is you might want to have a, um, 
again, I think that when we talk about VR and AR, having actual characters, actual people is going to be important, whether it's yourself or uh, actors uh, that you want to bring into the scene. And this would be useful for education. Imagine you know, re recreating a Civil War scene, or in, in the case that we're, we're experimenting with, a Cambodian scene. Um, and uh, you want to get the actual people rather than modeling them. So what we did is I have some friends, uh, Pixel Gun uh, 3D, that, um, or Pixel Gun, that basically they are down in San Rafael. They've got this, um, an RV. That Whoa! Has 146 this cameras. Is, this yeah, is so in this an is RV. Pixel Gun Studios. Yep. And Every one of those dots is a camera. Every one. No, no. Those oh, dots those are, are, are tracking cameras. markers. Those are markers, oh. so it just knows. It, it uses that to calibrate where all the cameras are. So Got there's it. 146 cameras that are getting wides, close-ups. Uh, you know, and and those those dots basically are a little. Uh, they're actually a 10-bit code that tells you this is marker number or whatever. That way, Got when it. the when the program, in this case, uh, Photoscan, does its calibration, it knows exactly what it's looking at, because otherwise it's a lot of white. So here's an actor. So here's an actor doing the scan. Uh, now, does it, wow. Does it, ma those look like fancy, expensive DSLR cameras. They, too, they're not super expensive DSLRs, but they are a, a lot, lot of DSLRs. A lot of pixels. I mean, that's still yeah. $100,000 of cameras, at least, wow. or $200,000 of cameras. And so... Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of cameras. They um, don't need to be at waist level, though. That's a, it looks like it's well, at the top of the head and then they're below a little, him. They're all the way around. So you'll, you'll look at them. They're all the way up and down, yeah. all the way around him. And uh, But the, the hard part is is that because they're taking him instantly, he can do things like this where he can he might be moving a little bit. Um, you know, you it freezes him. It freezes him yeah. in that space. And so it's a great... Um, and this is what, when you watch the games, when you watch some of the, the, the real-time games, the sports games, this is exactly the kind of studio that's used. This is a Cambodian capture. dancer doing uh, Cambodian positions. Yeah. positions. We're, we're doing some experimentation. I was in Cambodia last year for a couple of weeks and decided I wanted to try to launch a project. 146 um, cameras. Uh, around wow. Angkor Wat. So, we, um, wow. so anyway, so the... Uh, now, what, again, you're going to get a 3D model... Right. Um, that you would do what with? Can, well, you, so, can you animate it? Yeah, so the, what we're going to do next is take take our uh, subjects and we're going to put uh, bones in, 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 basically attach animation tools underneath and, and attach the, the mesh that we create to those bones, uh, those animation tools. Then we can now do motion capture and have them walking around and doing, possibly even doing would Cambodian dances. Would you use the dances. same camera array to do the motion as well? Or no, is that that's a motion capture. Okay. Maybe the next time I come, we'll, we'll mocap is another a, a third thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, okay. Um, but but we'll apply, maybe the next time we'll, we'll show a little bit of all of this together. But um, but the mocap is then can be applied once we put the uh, the bones inside of the character and attach the meshes to the bones. Then we take the motion capture and drive the bones, which drives the mesh. And, and then we render it out into the scene. So, it's, so um, we that's, talked this is just the beginning. At the beginning of the show where right. you might want an image of yourself for a virtual world, like a yep. second life kind of world. Is what you get with this 146 camera array sufficient for that? Oh, it's way more than what you need. Okay. So it's, this but is it, a... But you'd have to add expressions and motions to it. Um, this is, yeah, you would, you would need to add a lot more detail to it. So basically, once we have the base... And here's oh, the here's, the, here's the 3D that. model, and and this is if I hit render, it'll it'll render it out here. And it looks, by it. the way, as soon as you render it, much more detail yeah. in there. So there's there's the model there, um, it's, but it's but you kind can, of uncannily realistic. Yeah, and so you can see that wow. it's you know, and that's the kind of thing that's hard to model is is really getting something that is, you know, that that really captures all the little wrinkles and the and the sense of it. And this is a uncleaned. I mean, the model hasn't been really cleaned up yet. It's just a really rough scan so but that would take a long time to right. to uh to create a 3d model that accurate now if you think about what what's going to happen here with these kinds of characters is uh imagine being able to go to a location maybe historical cambodia or or somewhere else and be able to look down and see people walking and, and so on and so forth in ar or have your vr goggles on and feel like you're there right those are the kind of things that are going to be possible in the next Year. The other thing I've seen, and I've seen this twice now, once in New York, uh, and uh, and I just saw one somewhere, I think L.A., there are booths, I think these will be in malls at some point too, where they have arrays like this, and then for 100 bucks they print a 3D model of you, not big, but the, you know, a 10 inch tall 3D model of you. Yeah. And, and you could do that with this as well. Oh, with a, with with either Bellas for small like little bits of it, right. uh, or with with uh, Pixel Gun, the type of thing that Pixel Gun Studios does. Uh, you could absolutely. Um, they have prints of all kinds of some of the some of the celebrities and so on right. and so forth. They actually made 
uh, chocolates. There, there's, there's some of the. Uh, uh, oh. There's wow. some of the, the the prints. Look at that. There's Snoop, um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so there's a place in New York called Gulliver's Gate, which I highly recommend down in Times Square. It's tiny little models of the world, and they were made all over uh, the world. But there's people in these, and if you go to Gulliver's Gate, you can become a person. Oh, that's funny. In these models, they have an array that takes the picture of you, they print it out, and then see these little people? <laughs> they're all people who came. They're people who visited. Yeah, that's it's not great. all of them, but they, but as time goes by, the more and more of them will be little people, real people. And it really is, you know, that is a, the, you know, Pixel Gun has gotten to a point where they've really got it refined down to a science, but it is something that is just a collection of cameras at this point. Um, there's a program called PhotoScan that you can that you can actually download if you want to play with it. It's free to download, yeah. and you can play with the demo as long as you want. You just can't save. You know what we have to do sometime? Because I remember, well, it's been now almost 20 years ago, you came to the screensavers and you drew dots on my face. We should get a montage, as this has evolved over 20 years, <laughs> yeah. from the time that you had it by hand. You draw yeah. dots on my face, and then by hand, take pictures oh, all man. around me. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. To this. It's yeah, much, much more accurate, too. Mm -hmm. yeah.